Hey guys, it's Channing. Today I'm going to be unboxing my March Bride Box. I'm excited. I just got, I'm home at my parents right now, hence the background change. And um, this was waiting for me, so I was excited to open it. Um, like I say every month, Bride Box is more expensive. So um, I definitely nitpick it more than the normal box. But let's get into it. I did open it and glance at it. And I saw one thing that I already put on. So let's put this up here. The item they sent us, one of them, is this gorgeous silver pendant necklace that they personalize for everybody. Mine says Mrs. H, because my last name's going to start with an H, 2015, because I'm getting married this year, and a little heart. So I think that's really cool that they personalized it instead of just sending, like, Mrs. or Bride. I, I don't know. I just love how it's personalized. But yeah, let's get into the actual box, and I'll tell you where this necklace is from. So as always, the box is super cute. And um, it is lighter this month. So let's put this down. So this is from Melissa's Jewelry and Accessories at melissajewelryacc.com. So like always on my um, blog, I will write um, all the information about these companies if you have any coupon codes. And then it just came in this sweet little box. As soon as I saw this, I had to open it. And I just think it's so cute and like really pretty because I can still wear it even after I'm married. So every month, Bride Box does a theme. This month it says, the theme, it just says the Bride Box. So they must not have a theme. So yeah, that first one was from Melissa Jewelry. And then it says we have four items. And usually this thing has four, but then we get five. So um, let's open all the other stuff right here. Oh, and they also give you a little card every month, which I always find helpful. This month is called Should I Tip? So it's about like tipping your vendors, how much you should tip. Um, just the, um, like if it's required or not required, which is kind of cool because I never like knew. It says like... Um, your photographer, you're not required to tip. Hair and makeup, you are, obviously, because it is like a salon, usually. Florist, not required. Musicians, required. DJs, not required. So, it's just a cute little card. They're laminated. They're really nice. I always put these in my wedding planner. Next, this is from the Hanford Collection, and it's wedding stationery that they customize for you. And it's packaged really cute. And then on top, I think, is a coupon. Usually these companies send you coupons. So let's get this off. And I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, last month we got thank you cards or the month before. I know I've gotten thank you cards from the Bride Box before. So this just has coupons codes. So like anything else that I get a coupon code, I'll put it on my blog. So um, they gave me two thank you cards and two envelopes. And the thank you cards just look like this. So, you all see thank you cards, but I do wish that they would send more than two. Like, they always, whenever they send cards, they either send, like, one or two. And I think for the amount of money you're paying for this box, you could definitely send, I think the minimum should be five, in my opinion. Next is from, oh, this is the Melissa's jewelry thing. And you can get a discount, so I would definitely leave that on my blog. This is from Say I Do with Ordinary Artists. So Ordinary Artists, they make journals and notebooks for all occasions, including custom notebooks for weddings, and they offer like a whole bunch of different things. So I do have a coupon code for them. So let's see what this is. It says journals. This looks like a really small, yeah, they're like little tiny journals, look. It just looks like, like scrapbook paper. It just has staples. And then I open, they're pretty small, like, I don't know if I'll ever honestly use these. This one's just blue. It looks like someone stamped on it. So honestly, I think these are kind of cheap looking. I can't imagine, like, you could literally pay for these yourself. Like, get a cardboard, cut it out, staple it, put paper in it. There you go. These are really tiny, and I'm actually not really a big fan of these, and I'll probably end up not using them or throwing them away. The last thing in here is from Lily and Val, and they specialize in chalk art prints, which I know is a big trend. And I actually, even though I'm having a peacock wedding, I'm actually having some kind of chalk boards at my wedding too, because I think they're really cool. And it says, please sign our guest book. So let's, which might be cute, because I was already going to put a little sign over there, a chalkboard anyway. So I guess it's just a printed card that you can put. I am probably going to use this. Um, I was already going to do something like this anyway, that you take cards like this, and then you put them in a frame, and you can stick them places. And this one says, please sign our guest book. So I'll probably honestly use this. I mean, this is something that I could have printed off the computer or bought, like, in a store, so I don't think it's that special. But, um, hey, what do you, I'm going to use it, so I guess it's kind of good that I got it. So, yeah, that is my March Bride Box. That is it. Um, this box was... Make sure. This box was actually pretty light. The only thing I actually really liked was this necklace. I think that um, the price of this necklace is probably going to pay for the box because I it seems like a legit sturdy necklace. Everything else I think um, they could have done way better. Like, uh, yeah, I'm using this, 
but it's not like something I was like super, oh my God, about like I was the necklace. Thank you cards. I can buy those myself. The little notebooks looked cheap to me. So um, I think I only have one more month of the bride box. It's very, it's a very hit and miss subscription. Some months are really good and some months are not, but I do definitely think they are a great gift. Like I've said before, I am getting them at, I am getting my boxes as a gift. So I think it's a cool thing to give a bride and um, I still get excited when I get it, even though um, I'm like, mediocre on some of the box. I'm still excited to get them because it's a big box. It's something different than all my beauty subscriptions. So I will leave all the information for the bride box down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys later.